if you if you are running a fixed pre cleaner, an option that you have if if you're getting loading on the fan or excessive material falling through, there are filler plates that you can put in on the back kind of little chunk of segment. They simply just kind of snap into your fins on the fixed chaffer, um, which then limits the amount of material that'll fall through there. As that material gets threshed and separated, gravity obviously makes it fall down. In the front, everything that's coming out of the threshing, threshing portion, the concaves is falling down on the auger bed augers. That material then is conveyed back to your front chaffer. As material falls on that auger, the auger bed augers, depending on crop conditions, field conditions, things like that, the rotor can load heavier on one side than the other. To help evenly distribute that material as it comes back off of those augers, there are adjustable baffles that are down in the auger beds. We recommend initial settings to set them about halfway. That way you have a nice benchmark. From there, as field conditions change or cleaning and separating issues that you might be having, you can go through and adjust them up or down as needed. As that material comes back, it comes off the auger bed augers, goes onto the shaker pan, and then goes through your uh, front chaffer. That front chaffer is available in a couple different configurations. You can get it fixed or adjustable. Later S-series machines were the first machines that you could get an adjustable pre-cleaner on. Those are an individual segment that can be unbolted. So if you do have a later S-series machine and you want to be able to adjust the front, you can go ahead and remove those segments and put an adjustable one in there. Coming off of the separator grates, there's also some baffles and plates that you can bolt and adjust and move to redirect that material as it comes down as well. 